Greetings, Sir and Sirettes, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the newest update, Alpha 14, which has just now hit the stable branch over on Steam. Now, Alpha 14 has added a lot of things to the game, mostly in the form of bug fixes and optimization improvements, so hopefully it will be a much smoother experience. But two other things have been added, at least two major things in my opinion, which should be very interesting. The first thing is a brand new profession in the form of the Herbalist, or at least I believe it's called the Herbalist, we'll find out very soon its actual name, which revolves around healing the halflings, because health now regenerates a lot slower than it used to. The other thing which has been added, which you could consider a bit of a bug fix or optimization thing, but I'm not going to, is that enemy AI has been been drastically improved, and so has your halfling AI, so hopefully they're going to be a bit better at what they're doing. So with that, a new game and a brand new season, as sadly the save files from Alpha 13 have been removed. We're going to go with Raya's children yet again, because I just think they've got the more interesting aesthetic. I mean, he does look like a little avatar, which is adorable, but this time we're going to go to the temperate biome. Forests, rivers, and mountains. Default home of the Ascendancy. So we could say we're invading them. Which is called Darkmoor Forest, a, loca uh, a location that gets blocked by this. That is sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. And looks incredibly creepy. Okay then, let's begin. The last time I chose the forest, it was actually called back then, was in Alpha 13, unless I know, Alpha 10.5. 13 is what we just came out of, Lathrix. Oh, your stats are terrible there, Alu. Okay, so what do we have? We have one with a really good mind stat, two with a really good mind stat, however, I've just noticed a problem. This lovely person has a good everything stat, which means it's actually going to go to waste. What I would like is at least two workers with really high mind, and then at least two soldiers, basically, with a high spirit and body. So it's re-roll until we find what we want. We have two very, three very high minds, but no good soldiers. Try again. One good soldier, and again, all the stats stacked on one person, and again, oh, not looking too good so far. Okay, I'll just skip ahead until we find the perfect selection of people. Okay, finally, there we go, the stat distribution I was more looking for. So we have a couple of really high mind-statted villagers, and a couple of very high spirit and body villagers to be our soldiers. So we have soldiers, and we have the main craftsmen. We are getting the farmer's hoe, and sword and herbalist staff, and with that, let's embark on our journey. So, this is the first time I've picked a forest since Alpha 10.5, like I said earlier, if I actually kept that bit of recording. So, where exactly am I going to be? Okay, well, this is a bit different than last time. I remember there being far fewer mountains. Um, I like this map. But I think I want more of a protected kind of corner, to be perfectly honest. If we're going to spend time, we may as well take the time to actually get somewhere we really like. Like we could be in the middle of that island. That would be really... What would happen if I spawned in that island? Would enemies be able to get me? I mean, surely they would somehow, because I know that if you block off one way, they tend to come the other way, and that's generally what I do, block off one way completely, so I always know where the enemy are going to come from. But how about if I spawn on, on an island? We could always make a bridge later on using the building tool. Uh, no, I won't be doing that just yet. Hello? No. I do like that there's more mountains. It definitely gives it more character. Ooh, I like it there. Oh, that's nice. Very easy to defend. We've got an island if we want to do that idea later. Okay, we're going to be in this corner here. I like that a lot. I've got this little passageway here. We're next to this huge mountain. Yep, all good. I like it a lot. Let's spawn there. Settle here. Now, last time I chose somewhere, I figured out very quickly the area isn't as big as you think it is looking at the map. So, I'm hoping that little section is bigger than I think it is. It might be a bit too small. I've only just started reading this loading screen. That's... That was some very bizarre things. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely fine. 
So there's the... Oh, the mountain isn't exactly how I thought it was, though. We could have the corner. Like, here-ish. Ah, oh, but look at that little dirt patch. How awesome would it be to spawn on this island? But I don't know if you can really build a bridge properly in this game. I think you can, but... Oh, I want this! Oh, we, but what we could do is, is always build a tunnel. We can have a tunnel leading from here to the mainland. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry. We need to we need to settle on this little island. Laughingham. There we are. Okay, so pause. Let's get stuff sorted out instantly. So what do we need first? We need a stockpile. That's the main thing, and this corner is now our stockpile region. Yes, allow everything for the time being, and once again, allow everything. Next... I actually want to design a building. Now this building is going to be the craftsman area. Because before we had the craftsman corner, I want that again, I really do. But instead of having them all just out in the open, I'm going to have a very long building here, which is separated on the... well, down the middle I suppose a few times, until we have... uh what's the word I'm looking for? We have different sections for all the different craft areas. Almost like a shop section. Like that, and then, now, if I do walls, it's going to make a full section around it, and that's not what I want. What I want is this, so, hold down shift, okay. Well, we don't want clay walls just yet, since we can't build them. Let's go with wooden walls, and let's have it like this. Shift, and hold down, okay. Keep doing that. Go from the corner, and all the way along to there. I was holding down shift. Hmm, okay. Let's not do that. Okay, now it works. Not quite sure why it didn't work last time. I'm not used to the building tool just yet, so expect a lot of things like that to happen. Just little control weirdnesses. That is not the game, being a derp. It is merely me being a derp. Honestly, you should expect that if you watch my channel. And then, we can do the same, separating it like this. And that's what I was trying to explain. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that one be you. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I may have been holding down shift that entire time. So let's do that again. Build, yes, start building, and that's that. So it is indeed one building, fantastic. And that should get our people actually doing stuff. So, what we need to do is get some trees fairly soon, since it's now entirely made of wood. So we definitely need that sorted. We also need the mason, well, the potter sorted, so we can get a mason, rather. Wait, how are you building the flooring without having any wood in your inventory? Don't spawn wood out of nothingness, that's cheating. On the upside, we're actually getting some clay from this, which is really, really useful. Clay and stone. So, let's do the whole profession thing then. So, we need someone with very high mind to be the potter, since the potter is a very important role. You there, you are going to be our potter. Done. And then, our soldier is any one of the ones with high body and high spirit. So, you there are going to be our footman. And then, we need a farmer. Now, a farmer, I don't really care too much about the stats, so that will be you. Because although farming is very important, and upgrading your, the level of your farmer is very good, it's not as... Uh, I don't know the word. It doesn't slow down progress as much if your farmer isn't perfect. We have an agent! Thank you, Honoured Elder, for giving us... Two clay oil lamps and two pumpkin baskets. A potential partner for whatever it's called, traders. Excellent. Okay, so, farmer. I will actually start the farm now, though. Let's have it all the way here. Let's put all of this edge here as farms. Now, I have been told that the farmers have a much better version of the AI than last time, than in Alpha 13. So, not only... Are they actually better at doing what they do? They can tend more places more efficiently. So, carrots, carrots, gourd, and the new crop, which is the cactus flower. The flowers have me have medicinal properties, and since we have no herbs naturally here, and I do want a herbalist, 
Uh, let's do that later, though. For now, I just want food, so... All the carrots, and then two gourd. Okay, that makes sense. Are you all going to build okay? I know the building was buggy in Alpha 13. What are you guys waiting for? You have wood. Uh-oh. Oh, please don't bug out. Okay, how about if we remove that? Is that the problem? Oh, we had a problem before because it was attached to the side. Is it because you can't get to the back of this building? Is that the problem? Let's find out. Let's remove all of this. So please dig out that for us and do the same here as well. Maybe that was the problem. Hoping it was because that would be a really easy fix. We'll soon find out though. Oh, why aren't you building? Why aren't you building? What's broke? We definitely have wood logs, yes? Yes, we definitely have wood logs. There's no reason why these guys shouldn't be able to build. Let's pause and let's try and figure out exactly what's gone wrong here. There is no reason at all why this shouldn't be working. Um. Well, it seems that simply restarting the game was the best idea. After trying to remove what we'd already built, after trying to do other things, redesigning and everything, it just wouldn't work. So I simply saved the game, came back to it, and as soon as the save loaded, everyone started working. So it was just an issue of they glitched out. They seem to be working now, but I am fully prepared to restart the game at any moment if this bugs out again. So anyway... Since we do actually have a potter already, let's make a kiln, and let's make ourselves a potter's wheel. So that we can put down that in the first of our little trading sections. Our little crafting corner is what I'll probably still call it, even though it's more of a straight line than a corner now. Ah, uh, accuracy. Who needs it? It's all going okay now. I do hate that I've got these two posts here and here. Next time, perhaps, I'll try to remove that. It seems difficult, though, when you're actually elongating the wall. Going to have to wait though until all of this um, scaffolding's gone, otherwise I can't really build anything properly. That was built really quickly. Okay, place oil lamp. Um, we could put one. Oh, they're just on the floor oil lamps. I thought maybe it was a wall hanging piece. One there, and put one on the second from here. Now, now we have a little bit of light. Glorious. I did say build this, didn't I? We don't have enough stone. Well, in that case, we do need a mine anyway, so where do I want to mine to? I would say just mine over to here, since this is closest, so... Let's dig a patch here. No, let's dig a patch as close as possible to the water. Uh no, I've got quite far down, don't we? So this is going to be quite difficult to do. For now, then, let's just carve into the earth on around about here. And then we'll carve a little bit further down, further down, so also this will become a staircase. And hopefully, upon building the staircase, we'll get enough stone. We did actually have some stone. I mean, we could just build some buildings, and hopefully that'll do it. As long as we build them out of wood and rather than um, clay bricks and such. We are just now hitting stone. Fantastic. And next layer as well, please. And just carry on further and further down. And this, like I say, will become the staircase into the mine shaft, or the, I guess, tunnel, to the mainland, since at the moment we can't actually get there. Although I think if you cut a bit of dirt off each, the halflings can swim. Apparently our miner, sorry, apparently our farmer doesn't really have much to do at the moment, and he's actually helping out with the mining effort. Will we ever hit stone? Well, we are getting stone, at least. Haven't quite hit it, though, yet. Then we can have the potter, we can start building clay bricks and everything, and then that way... That way, we can start getting all of our clay and stuff by just building, since the foundation itself actually cuts into the dirt. Hello, trading caravan. There's nothing I really want from you or want to sell you right now, so we'll just leave you as, as you are. And actually, though, what we can do, since I just saw it in our inventory, is we can put down our potter's kiln. 
Play in the corner there, if possible. Oh, just about fits. That is a huge thing. Well, put it there regardless, and then our little workbench can be here. And hopefully, that won't actually get in the way of things. I'm hoping we can get down far enough, as that is really deep. Yay! Okay, so, what do I want? Well, I want beds first. So, beds come first, make me ten. So, we have some spare. Then, I want clay bricks to be maintained also to ten. No idea why ten, honestly, just seems a good number. Windows to be at six. Doors to be at three. Or four, by accident. And then the lattice window frame to also be at six. What else do we need? Uh, I would like some wall-mounted stuff. Okay, there we are. And we're going to get plenty more clay as well, doing our little mining effort over here, so that should be absolutely fine. Still only hitting dirt. Is there only dirt going down? I thought you'd be able to hit stone. If not, then it is very important that we get to the side here, so we can start digging out some of the mountains around us. Are you okay? To okay, cool, cool. So both of these can be used. Now, how are we going to do our beds? I think what I might do is have a bit of a communal sleeping area, at least for the time being, and have it over here, once again a bit like the building there. So, design building, foundation, use wood because we've got a lot more wood than we have everything else. And let's have the clean white flooring. All here. Do I want it to actually touch to the building? No, let's make it harder to build. Have it like there. That seems reasonable to me. Then I want a wall. Let's go with something a bit more interesting. Uh, yep, yeah, we can use clay bricks for this. Still going off of our, our white theme. Wait. Doesn't that look almost identical to that? It almost is. Maybe a bit darker. Uh, no, I like that one. I like that one. Okay. Doors. Regular wo red wooden door. Could have two. No, no need. Windows. Go off with these. Each of the corners. Most simple building plan ever, but still. Simple is easy, and I am a very simple person, so that makes sense to me anyway. Uh, do I want like, an extra window out this way, since, since it's looking at the back, which is much nicer? We could do. Have the lattice. No, I think I'll just leave it for that, as that for now. Furniture, I want the beds. One, two, three, four. Do I want a wall between this? We could have a wall in between. Then have like another area over here. No, for now I'll just keep it simple. Actually, I could do, so undo those beds. So there's a bit more space between them, have them facing like this. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. And they're a little bit too far away from the wall. It's actually incredibly difficult to um, measure things with these angles. At least it is for me, but I have trouble with patterns and shapes, so that's hardly surprising. Okay, that'll be enough for now. And finally, for the roof, I would like stone, honestly, but... Ooh, I like that. Ah, though would that be difficult to build since we've got this here? I like the simplicity of that, although does the wall actually come up to meet it or is it just going to be floating like that? It can't just be floating like that, can it? That would be ridiculous if that was the case. Maybe it's smaller like that. Hmm. I think I prefer that way as well. Okay, we'll do that. Oh good, it actually, do it actually does go up to meet it. And that's that. Nothing else to really add. So, finished editing. Build when ready. Yeah, start building. Our first truly custom building, rather than this kind of area over here. So, what do we need next then, after the potter? 
The potter can make the mason, which you can make already, fantastic, although we do need some more clay, which we'll get in a second. And oh, I would like this, although I don't have any bolts of cloth. Oh, That'll happen later on. Chairs and stuff, and we could build those as well, but right now we, there's, there's a lot of stuff for him to do. And not enough net worth right now for a new person, what a shame. We'll get there eventually. Just like over here. More things! Uh, we could sell some beds, we have excess. Sure. Actually, sell all the beds. Because then I could buy clay off him, which is actually very cheap. In comparison. Since it's... Is it one clay or two clay to make a bed? It's one clay, isn't it? Yeah, one clay makes a bed, and then you can sell the bed for 12, so I'm actually making two gold per time. Though I'm actually, though I'm actually not going to buy the clay, though, because I'm doing this over here. I'll buy the stone, however, and I will buy a little bit of food. Sure. There we are. I think that was a good trade, and people will be a lot happier now. There's a bit of variety in their food. Keep on mining down there until we're deep enough. Oh, it's going to be so difficult to get that deep, though. On the upside, I, I can actually do that. To oh, we're almost there. Never mind. It won't be as difficult as I thought. And I won't dig any further up here as well. Okay. Everyone, work faster. And so we are under attack for the first time by a new enemy, no less. The Entlings. Tiny little bits of wood which want to kill us. Well, not really the most fearsome of creatures, but even so. Do they literally drop wood? They literally drop oak logs for us. Thank you for the free resources, I suppose. Ah, still not quite getting our first new person. Oh, another enemy has appeared, and is already under attack by our soldier. That was a wolf as well. A wild wolf, a non-goblin wolf. An untamed wolf, if I actually looked at the name first. New enemies abound. So, to answer the question, do they spawn right next to you if they can't get to you any other way? Yes, they do. Now, that's both bad and good. It's good because it'll be very easy to respond to. It's bad because our normal non-soldier citizens are probably going to be attacked at some point. So, that's not exactly fantastic, okay? Pressing X to make this a little bit easier on myself. Let's very carefully select some areas to mine out here. Since we're almost, and that very, very close, we're almost there now to start digging towards the mainland. Which is actually going to pose a big problem, because once I'm at the mainland, how am I going to actually sort out defense? I mean, I'll have to have, like, guards constantly near the main tunnel segment. And, ooh, I would like that shield, actually. I would like that shield very much. Nothing really much to sell, though, in return. We could sell three of the... Yeah, we don't really have enough stuff to do that. So, for now, I'm afraid, we can't really purchase anything from you. But we should have the mason's hammer now finished, which means we could make our potter a mason, but for now though I think it would be best if he just stayed where he was. Uh, saying that... Level 2 potter and... Uh, no, I thought I did make the mason's chisel. Oh, have I not built it yet? Oh, I wasn't high enough level for it, was I? No. Now I'm high enough level, I don't have the resources for it. I guess that's what we get for being a bit ambitious with our first few builds. Either way, we have the communal sleeping area almost finished. All that remains now is to remove the scaffolding and add the things on the inside. And we're going to continue to mine out this. So, for now though, I'm afraid I have run out of time for the first episode. I hope you've enjoyed, and of course, if you have, then likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stone Hearth is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Next time, I'll finish off this tunnel probably off camera, but we'll continue building up our island, cutting down all the trees, and making it very pretty, farmy, and rather industrial. Soon, we should hopefully as well get some new workers. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.